Hey guys! So it's been a while. A lot has happened since we did a video last. Um, part of it, just space, time, all that good stuff. Um, I tried filming at home for a really long time. That just didn't always work out as well. It's dark, it's late, it was just not going super well. Um, and then we actually got to the point where we had to expand our business. And so it's been a really long time since we did a puzzle video for you. But I promise anything as of yet because it's going to be super experimental. But hopefully I can get a video up for you guys of an actual puzzle um, pretty soon. And hopefully it will work out. Fingers crossed that this goes well. Come see the new space. All right, guys. Welcome to the new store. So this is the new storefront. We got a really cool new sign. Um, Casey did all the design and stuff for that, obviously, because he knows how to do all that wizardy stuff, and I do not. Look at all the space we have now. You could literally fit our old store in the front of this new one. We're able to bring in so much more candy now. We have so much more space, and we got these really cool little islands built. We're like a real store now. We actually have shelf space for candy. We were running out of it at the old store. It was crazy. We have this cute little fun zone where we have things like stickers, temporary tattoos. We have slime and that's all made by a local vendor. We have these croc charm things, which I remember as a kid and they're now coming back and super popular. We have all kinds of exotic drinks, the weird stuff that you see online, like the pickles. Yes, trust me guys, pickles. We have all this cotton candy. There are some really weird flavors in there. There's spaghetti and the part that I know you guys all care about, the puzzles. Look at this beautiful puzzle wall we are able to have now and we finally got a contract with Ravensburger so we can bring those in now it's amazing they um, we did have more they're selling pretty well apparently there's lots of puzzlers in Belleville which is fantastic um, I'm happy to have the space for this again because that was one of the things that we were really missing in the old store it just yeah it disappeared really quickly um, and I was getting a little concerned but now we got big puzzles little puzzles we got kid puzzles we got these cool escape room like puzzles it's pretty cool um, yeah it's it's nice to have the variety we got all this candy as well this was kind of the shelving that we were working with towards the end of the old store so for context sake um, it's just basically this wall and then a little bit of the other one that you guys first saw that was all we had uh, there's Casey. He's going to be real mad at me for doing that. Um, this is Escape Room 1. You guys are getting pretty cool little sneak peeks. This is Madame Misty. Um, this is our newest one. This is Catastrophe. So for those of you that don't know, escape rooms are kind of a different sort of puzzle. You're in the room for an hour. You're trying to solve all the different puzzles and clues to get out of the room. Some of them involve literal puzzles, which makes my heart very happy and probably some of yours. This is our oldest escape room, so this is the 48th hour. We've had this one almost two years now, which is pretty long for an escape room. We're actually going to be swapping that out soon. Um, and right here is the spot that I was thinking for the puzzles. So I've got a couple tripods, it's got some pretty good lighting, it's much better lighting than my place. And these, um, these little foam boards that I can lay down and do it. This is escape room four, I guess now. This is four, I'm so used to three. Uh, Dr. Demented's Casey actually built this room. It's the mad scientist room. You're trying to disarm the bomb and save the world. We have a storage room now, which we did not have before. This place is huge, you guys. If any of you ever saw the old store, you know that it's, it's like double, it's insane. We even have this private birthday party room, which we desperately needed. It was one of the main reasons for the move. We just, we needed it. And for any of you guys who might also enjoy D&D, &D, we also have a DM now who does all these mini figs for us. Look at these amazing things. I think he's actually looking at trying to sell them in store as well soon too. Things like the cool dragons and stuff like that. Uh, he and his wife have this 3D printer. It's like, it's crazy how realistic they are. And she does an amazing job of all the painting. Casey got all these really cool door decorations. Um, I think you guys can guess who made that sign. That's uh, Casey's idea of staff room. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the store. For those of you that got to see the old store and in comparison to the new one, it's a pretty big change. It's uh, at least double in size, probably honestly closer to triple. We're so, so grateful to have all this extra space and I really try wanna try to utilize it to do some puzzles for you guys as well. It was really good to make a video for you guys again. Hope everyone's doing well and we miss you guys all the time.